Hello, today we're looking at skillion roots and how to calculate them out. So you'll remember from previous videos dealing with the hand-pitched roof construction, we went through the process of working out lengths and runs and angles of rafters and all of that theory applies in exactly the same fashion to skillion roofs. There's only one difference with marking out a skillion rafter and that is to do with this top bird's mouth cut at this end. So before we deal with that, I'm just going to very quickly recap some of the stuff that we've covered previously. So of course we have our backing line, which is marked on the side of the rafter, and that's where the very front edge of our bird's mouth gets cut to. We've got our overhang distance, which is from the very front of the rafter to the face of that bird's mouth. And if we have a look at my drawing here, you can see I've got a 300mm overhang from end of rafter to face of bird's mouth. And that's where our bird's mouth cut gets marked from front of that plumb line touching our backing line. When we come to the back end of the rafter, that rafter run is measured from front of bird's mouth to front of bird's mouth. And this is where your measurements may differ from the measurements you have in your plans. So let's get rid of some of those lines and we'll have a very quick look at what measurements you might get on your plans for a roof like this. So on my drawing here I've got a 300mm overhang at the bottom, I've got a 400mm overhang at the top and I've got a span of 2 metres and that span is measured from the outside of the building to the outside of the building or outside of beam to outside of beam. And that is exactly the same as when we're working out our normal hand-pitched rafters span of the roof is the overall of the building but when we come to measure the run of that rafter we have to measure again to the front of the bird's mouth and that gives us a slight difference in those measurements if i overlay both those measurements on you can see i've got a 70 mil beam at the top which means my measurements at the top here are 70 mil different from each other i've got a 400 mil overhang marked on my plan but when I come to mark this rafter out, I need to allow for that 400 plus the thickness of that beam or wall or whatever it's sitting on, which means my span might be 2 metres of my drawing, but my rafter run is only 1930. Now you'll notice if we add all three numbers up, your total figure will be exactly the same as if we add up those three figures. So you might think it doesn't make any difference, but it actually does, and the reason is, if I mark these lines on again down here, we've got our backing line there, and there is the run of our rafter. If I work out the length of this rafter, or the length to that bird's mouth cut using my roof span measurement, I'm going to end up with a mark right there. And if I mark a seat line through there like I normally would, I'm going to end up with a bird's mouth cut marked there instead of there where it should be and I'm going to be the thickness of my wall size or my beam size out. I'll end up with a checkout in the wrong spot up here instead of there right on top of the beam. So that is why you just need to be a little bit careful. Nearly all of the theory and calculations on a skillion roof are going to be exactly the same as a normal roof. You just have to allow for the thickness of your top wall or top beam at that point. And if you work that out properly, you will end up with a rafter like that. Mark out, cut out your first rafter nice and neatly and just use it as a pattern to mark all of the rest of them. So let's have a very quick look at a slightly different scenario. Here we have the side of a house or a wall. We've attached a pole plate to it and we're going to sit our rafters from there to there. So we're going to have to look out for exactly the same thing at the top of here. So looking from the side, we're going to look at our measurements that we have on the plan, and that plan gives us, in this example, 2 metres from outside of wall to the outside of this beam, and then again a 300 overhang on my drawing. So when I go to calculate the length of this rafter, again I need to allow to measure to the face of that bird's mouth cut. So when I throw that dimension in, you can see I actually now have a top overhang of the thickness of that wall plate, which would normally be whatever your pole plate thickness is, 35, could be 50, could be anything. 
but you just need to allow for that so that you don't end up with a mark in the wrong place for that bird's mouth cut. And of course you may have a situation where instead of sitting on a pole plate like that, you might have that pole plate a bit higher and just run your rafters straight into it, sitting on a joist hanger. And if you were to do that, it would just mean that where your plumb cut gets marked, instead of cutting a seat cut out, you would just run a power saw straight through, but it would still give you the same length that you need for that plumb cut. And that's really the only thing you've got to watch, is just instead of using your building span measurement, you use your raft run measurement, which allows for the thickness of this top end. So hopefully that helps you out with your skillion roofs, whether they're butted into a wall like that or sitting over two beams or two walls. Thank you and good luck.